Hello, my name's Mrs Didlick and today we're doing phase three phonics. Let's practice the sounds we already know. See if you can say the sound before me. Shh. Uh. Ng. Zzz. O, I, Z, Oi, Ow, Y, M, Yo. Uh, 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 sometimes it's I ear a well done did you get them all let's have a game now I've got all my flashcards and I put them in a pile and I'm going to put them flat so I can't see the top one um if you're going to play this at home you need to make your own cards. Just write the sounds down, as many sounds as you know. You can always research it online. And then I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to choose my first card. Oh, it's shh. Hmm. Can I think of a word that's got shh? I can. I'm going to write that word down. My word is shop. Shop. Shh. Shh. Oh. Shop. I've used the shh graphene. I now, because I'm very clever, can put that word into a sentence. Let me think. I go to the shop. Here we go. I go to the shop. Oh, it's five words. I, it's a tricky word. I. Now I need a finger space. Go, it's another tricky word. I go, another finger space. Two, that's a tricky word too. I go. Two, another finger space, the. Oh my goodness, they're all tricky words. I haven't finished yet. I've forgotten our word. I go to the finger space shop. Shh. Oh. Ooh. What goes at the end of a sentence? That's right, the full stop. I could now choose another card and have another go. You can work your way through it. You can work, play with a friend if you want to. You can either just write the words, or if you're super clever, you can try and put that word into a sentence. I've got another game for us now. This is one you can play with somebody at home, but you've got to make it. What you're going to need is just a piece of card. To do this, I'm just going to clean my board. Here we go. 
and I'll pin this up so you can see what I'm doing. It's going to be a phase three phoneme snake game. Right. So I'm going to have a start. And I'm going to write the word start on it. Start. Start. It's very small. Can you see it? And then I'm going to have a finish. Finish. Oh, that's the sh sound. Finish. Now, I have to make a snake. And this snake is very scaly. There we go. So I've broken it up into little pieces. Now, oh, I'm going to use my flashcards again and I'm going to just choose one. Oh, zzz. And another one. Oh, uh, like that in the next one. And another one. Mm. And I'm going to do that till I've put a sound, a grapheme in each of the little boxes. Now this game is so easy to play. What you're going to need is a, a dice. Or if you haven't got a dice at home, you could just use some pieces of paper with numbers written on it. And what you have to do is just fold them up and put them into a pot or a cup. And then you take turns to pull a number out. Oh, one. And you're going to need some counters. I haven't got any counters. Um, I could again use some pieces of paper and just fold them over like that different colours for different counters and if they're folded over they'll stand on my game and you have to take turns and either roll the dice or pick a number and then your counter moves that many spaces if you can say the sound you've landed on you can stay there if you can't remember it you've got to go back to where you were the winner's the first one to get to the finish it's quite good fun have a go there are some great um, games online. All you have to do is just type in phoneme games. Shall I write that down for you? Phoneme games. Type that into a search engine and have some fun. Oh, remember to select phase three so you're on the right level. Here's something that I found earlier. Bye bye. See you soon.